Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariana from Crafting Happiness and today I'm going to show you how to change colors in corner to corner crochet, how to read um, C2C graph, how to minimize your ends and I'll also show you a few tips and tricks on how to keep your yarn organized, how to carry your yarn over without cutting it and how to make your work look neat and clean. So first thing you need to know when uh, crocheting corner to corner is what exactly you are going to crochet. So you will need a corner to corner graph like this one. Um, you can make your own. I made mine. Um, there is a website, a free website called Stitch Fiddle. I'll put the link in the description. And you can also uh, you can upload a picture there and turn it into a um, C2C graph, or uh, you can just draw your own. I I drew mine for this uh, uh, tutorial. You can also use um, there are loads and uh, lots and lots of uh, free tutorials and free patterns online. You can just download the graphs from there. So first thing you need is a graph. Um, then you need to know how to increase and decrease in corner to corner crochet. Uh, I already made a tutorial about it. You'll find a video uh, in the description of this um, video or you can find it uh, on my account, on my channel. So I already started, as you can see here, I started from the left bottom corner um, and uh, to mark the front part I use a stitch marker and this will help you as you turn your work back and forth you'll know exactly which way is facing because sometimes it's really really confusing. So if you don't know how to increase and decrease watch my uh, previous video and then come back to this one. And now uh, we will continue I'll show you how to read a graph. As you can see, uh, to keep your yarn organized when you don't use it, I just use regular cloth pins and then I just roll the yarn around it and these are great because you can just clip them to your work and you can turn your work around and your yarn stays neatly organized and then um, you won't have any tangles. So now let's continue. We will be doing, as you can see, the stitch marker is on this side. So that means we will be starting from this side up. And as you work, you just mark the squares that you've done. So you can see in the next, in the next row, you will have to do one, two, three squares in the light color. Mine is beige. Um, also, it's a great tip to keep your work really tight. As you can see, there's no holes in it. It's all tight and neat. I use the 5 and 2 technique, which means when you increase, you use 5 chains. And then, as you make your regular squares, you chain two. You, you usually, in regular crochet, um, you usually make three chains that counts as a double crochet. Uh, in C2C, I make two because it makes the work tight, tighter and it looks much better. So chain three and double crochet in a third chain from the hook and double crochet in the next two remaining chains and now slip stitch it to the next square and make three C to C squares in total Ok, 
okay so as you see I chain two this comes as a double crochet uh, you can choose to chain three uh, I found it that it keeps the work looking much neater so yeah so on your third square it's time to change colors according to the graph so you make let me mark them you made your you made your three squares it's now time to switch to orange and make one two three four five six squares in orange at this point you will have to change colors and I'll show you how on your last square don't um, finish it completely just uh, stop right before you yarn over and pull through and then pick up the color you're changing insert your hook in a space like you'll usually do grab your yarn and pull it through it's okay to be a little bit tighter because once your work continues it will loosen up a bit and then pull it through all the loops on your hook just like that and now just chain two and this is how you change colors I think I lost my orange alright so that's my orange and and now as you change colors continue to make three double crochet stitches in the space below and this is how you change colors and now with the unused yarn just attach it to your work clip it to your work like that and it will stay neat on that side and now we will have to make like I said six so we do one two three four five six we've done one so we'll do five more I'll pause the video and once I reach the other side um, I'll show you how to change colors again okay so I'm back I have made the six uh, orange squares and now it's time to change colors back to uh, brown and as you can see um, I stopped right before I completed the last double crochet so right before you yarn over and pull through uh, stop and make your color change um, and for that um, you have to move this yarn from the bottom of the square to the top of the square and uh, the way I've seen it done uh, in many places is to insert your hook through the top uh, loop yarn over and pull the yarn and then pull it through uh, both orange loops but then you will see the transition uh, right here on this side I don't really like that as you can see it if you really look and I don't like that especially when you have a lot of color changes uh, you'll have a lot of squares with this transition so the way I do it is take my hook of the orange yeah, uh, loops and um, a slip stitch through all these four stitches here and bring the yarn to the top of the square so I insert my hook uh, on through the bottom stitch pull the yarn through and then go to the next stitch pull the yarn through both do the same with the next one yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook 
and then the last one the fourth one will be through the top chain you made so remember at the beginning of each square you chain two that counts as a double crochet insert your hook on the top chain and pull the yarn through and through the loop on your hook and you can see the yarn transition it's invisible you, bas you basically don't see it then go back to your orange loops insert your hook through them insert your hook through the brown one and pull through and that is your color change and you can't see it from any side and now once you've done that continue making the last four so I already, I already filled it in so it's this last four what I do is right before uh, I make it I make them I mark them on uh, the chart so I know how many I need to make so on this side is one two three four brown squares so chain two that counts as the first double crochet and then make three more in the chain space below join it to the next square and keep repeating that and then once I finish this row I will show you how uh, you can carry uh, the yarn over without having to cut it and that will drastically minimize your ends um, and then you'll have very little work to do and clean up to do afterwards so let me do the last square okay so this is the end make sure you organize your yarn that you don't use it is orange you finish with it Just clip it on and you can move your work and your ends will not be tangled which is great so as you can see on this side you have um, the stitch marker and every time you sit on this side you know your work is right so um, the square at the top is the square at the top here when you turn around and you continue on the other side the stitch marker is on the back and even though it looks like you'll be working from the bottom up you're actually not you're actually working from the top backwards so that's why you need to mark one side to know that when the stitch marker is in front you work uh, the right way and when the slips the stitch marker is on the bottom on the other side even though it looks like you'll be working from bottom upwards you're actually going from top downwards I hope this makes sense to you I made many mistakes before I realized I have to mark one side and then I won't get confused anymore okay so let's continue let me show you uh, how I do um, transition from uh, one color to another when it's a few uh, squares down so let's say it's not in a pattern but let's say um, you will have to create an uh, orange square three uh, squares down uh, what we will normally do is cut the yarn join it back here and continue up but the way I do it to minimize ends is roughly calculate how much yarn I need um, to go around each of the square just roughly um, don't make it too loose it's better to be tighter than looser so just roughly you learn uh, after a few tries how much yarn you need and then uh, crochet backwards on it with the same color so let me do a couple of squares 
in brown just to bring the yarn a little bit closer but make your fives double crochet in a third and in each of the two remaining chains Alright, join it here, chain 2, comes with the first double crochet, make 3 more double crochet in a space below. Alright, so don't finish it. Right, and now we will continue from here with orange. So, roughly calculate how much yarn you need. Insert your hook as usual in a space and pull the orange yarn through, just like that, and then through the loops on a hook. And now just um, slip stitch through, slip stitch through. Try to make it a bit looser. It needs to be loose enough to go around. And then chain two. That's your first double crochet. And then make as usual, crochet over the yarn and make your double crochet stitches as usual. Okay. So there you are. You're crocheting over the yarn and now when it's time to join the yarn, do it as usual, insert your hook, slip stitch and you can see the yarn transition here but you can barely see if you really look because it just blends in and it just looks like it's part of the square. And now we will crochet over this one as well. Chain two, your first double crochet. Three double crochet stitches in the space. And again, it's time to join it up to the next square. So slip stitch. And again, you can see the yarn, barely see the yarn. And your last one, chain two, three double crochet in a space to create the C to C square. And then join it up. And there it is. You can barely see the yarn. Maybe here a little bit at the end. Depends how tight you're working it up. Uh, just loosen it up. But basically you can you can see it and you have no ends and that's how you minimize your ends so i've showed you how to do color changes both ways how to minimize your ends how to make sure you're working on the right side how to keep your yarn organized with clothespin and how to read a graph uh, I'll be uploading this graph uh, to my website, uh, the pattern, in case you want to do it, Halloween's around the corner, this will do a great uh, blanket, um, happy pumpkins. <laughs> um, I hope you found my tutorial easy to follow, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me on social media for more free tutorials like this one. Happy crocheting!